All right. So today, yeah. we are going to read Velissa and the Magic Doll. Remember yesterday we read Goldilocks and the Three Bears? All right. So Vel it's not Velissa. It's Vas Vasilissa. Vasilissa? I don't know how to say her name. Page 162. Alright, let's see. Vas Alyssa. Vas Alyssa. Vas Alyssa. And the magic doll. Yeah, that's Sissy Missy. It sounds like Sissy's name, Alyssa, right? Mm -hmm. Long ago in faraway Russia, well, that's probably why I can't pronounce it, there lived a merchant, his wife, and their Mommy, young right daughter, Vas Alyssa. Right Sadly, Vas Alyssa's mother became ill. Right that, right that. That's the daddy. About that. That's Vasilisa. I know I'm angling her name. And that's her mommy. That is her mom. I am dying. Vasilisa's mother. Okay. Sadly, Vasilisa's mother became ill. Mommy, Beloved that? daughter. Mommy, that? Hold on. Beloved daughter, Vasilisa's mother said, I am I dying. Know. But do not worry. I have made you a doll to keep with you always. Whenever you are afraid or sad, give the doll a bit to eat and drink and tell her your troubles and she will tell you what to do. What? I just said that's the mom. Like, you can't see that that's the mom? I don't understand. You're throwing a tantrum. Wait till I finish. Three year old. Lord. <sighs> Several years later, Vasilisa's father remarried a woman with two daughters. This new step family treated Velissa Vasilisa very cruelly. Sounds like Cinderella. Vasilisa spent her days washing floors, scrubbing walls, and cooking meals. Every night, Vasilisa, which I know I'm mispronouncing, would take her doll from her pocket. She would feed the doll and whisper her troubles into her tiny ear. The doll would always comfort her. Then, one day, the stepmother came up with a plan to get rid of Vasilisa. She blew out the only candle in the house, and she told Vasilisa that she had to find the hut of the fearsome witch Boba Yaga, Baba Yaga, and request a flame from her. Oh, oh. Vasilisa sat down with her doll. I am frightened, she told the doll as she fed it. I need your help. Don't worry, the doll replied. I will protect you. Right I can't see with your hand there. Right Move your hand. It looks like a witch. Vasilisa stumbled through the dark woods until she came upon until she came to Baba Yaga's hut. So that's Baba Yaga. If you would listen to the story and let me finish, now, then is that Baba Yaga? Yeah, that's Baba Yaga. But you have to listen to the story so I can tell you who it is. Okay, it was perched on. Yeah, it looked the, like a tiny bit. <laughs> <laughs> Baga Yaga Witch. Oh boy. Now you made me lose my spot. It was perched on chicken legs. <clears throat> Animal skulls hung from the gate, eerily lit with flames. I can provide that which you seek, the witch said. See, she is a witch. Yes. But you must work for it. I will be gone tomorrow. But when I return in the evening, if any chores remain, you will have no choice but to stay here with me forever. I suggest you get some sleep. So that is the witch, Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. And there is Vasilisa asking for her help. She needs fire, right? The fire in her house went out from the evil stepmother. 
All right, let's see. That's Baba it. Yaga gave Vasilisa a list of chores to do. When she unrolled the list, it measured more than four feet long. That is that. That's Baba Yaga. It's Baba Yaga. Vasilisa took out her doll and told her of the witch's demands. The doll said, you have nothing to fear. When Vasilisa awoke it the next morning, Baba Yaga was gone. Vasilisa found that all her tasks had already been done. When Baba Yaga returned, she was livid. You have brought someone into this house to help you, yelled the witch. You have defiled my home. Now you may never leave. Just then, Valissa heard a soft voice come from her pocket. Run, child, said the voice. Run back home. All right. Run back home. Vasilisa obeyed the doll. She grabbed her shawl and ran as fast as she could. When she returned to her home, she found her father all alone. They've left us, her father said sadly. My wife and her daughters have stolen what little money we had and fled. I was worried that they had taken you too. I cannot tell you how happy I am to have you back home with me. Many years later, her father was wed for a third time to a kind and generous woman that Velissa was happy to call stepmother. But she never forgot her own mother, and every night she fed and talked to her doll, and they all lived happily ever after. The end. I the end. Yeah. That is the end, but you're busy jumping around that you can't... The next story is Beauty and the Beast. You're too busy jumping around that you miss most of the story. All right, say good night. I just told you that's Beauty and the Beast. We'll read that one tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. What's that? That is the three little pigs. But that's for another day. Good night.